Hello and welcome to Mike Mendoza's Adrian Worthing Show, coming to you from Worthing Pier and the Southern Pavilion. And once again, the weather is great. I, I keep saying this every week, it's crazy. But it has been really nice the day we shoot this show here on the pier. Um, so, very good morning and hello to Emma Mumford. Hello. You're the coupon queen. <laughs> As they call me, yes. Yeah, crikey, that's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, some people, um, I, I read a story once about someone who had a paperclip. Mm. And from that paperclip, they made about $3 million. Wow, that's good. Just by trade, con continuously yeah. trading it. Now you, you've done something, I suppose, quite similar. Yeah. Uh, in as much as you found yourself in financial problems when you were quite young. Yeah, I was 19 at the time, mm -hmm. and I was young, in love, and we all make mistakes, sadly. And well, I the bit or the uh, yeah. <laughs> both, I think. And um, basically, I we were in a lot of financial difficulty, and he had debt from a previous relationship. So I thought to ease us, and you know, I had the financial brain. I thought I'll take it on. We can pay it off and unfortunately the relationship broke down and I was left with it so I couldn't really do anything legally it was all my debt so oh, I had to you took on his debt yeah so it was all in my name which mm -hmm. made it more difficult so I had to find a way to save money and I was on a really low income at the time as well so it was pretty impossible but I couldn't just not do anything and that's when I found coupon on him okay well, and how does it work how it works is there's a few different ways. You have store magazines, so that's like Tesco magazines, Asda magazines, and they will have monthly coupons in there, which you can use in store. Then you have internet coupons as well. So they're the ones you can print off and take into store and get extra savings, really. But there's loads of different ways to get it. If you don't have a printer, it's not the end of the world as well. Mm -hmm. And I've signed up to different programs, like there's Tesco Orchard, which is a sort of review panel so they'll send me coupons to get free products and I just review the products. Okay, so how do you pass these on to other people? Through my Facebook page. So I started it up and thought nobody's going to want to know about like my couponing. But surprisingly, we've nearly got 100,000 followers now. We've been running for a year and a half, which is really impressive. And it's just amazing to be able to bring like deals and coupons to everyone daily. And, and anybody can do this? Anybody can do it. It's yeah. really, well, I say it's really easy because I know how to do it, but <laughs> we've got plenty of, you know, help videos on my YouTube and there's plenty of things I've put on my website to help people get started. And you use these for yourself as well? Yep, still use it myself, <laughs> although I'm out of my debt. I, you know, it's a, it's a set way now. I want to save money and it's, every time I go into a shop, I've always got my savvy brain on, mm. so I think. Can I take a coupon in here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's definitely a way of life. Now you've also won a number of awards this year, or you're up for a number of awards. Yeah. Are you a Young Entrepreneur of the Year for 2014? Yeah, that was on, I oh, can't remember the website. <laughs> <laughs> you got it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was brilliant to be able to be awarded. I didn't even know I was nominated it for it, to be honest, but when they came through and said you'd won, I just couldn't believe it. And mm -hmm. one of my biggest achievements, hopefully, is I'm shortlisted on for two categories at the Blog Awards, which is the biggest blog awards in the UK. Mm -hmm. And they've got a nice glitzy, um, ceremony in London in April so fingers crossed that's for the young persons for under 25 bloggers and retail and fashion fantastic so you'll go from you live in Dorset yeah so you'll be going from Dorset to London yeah using your coupons I assume yeah. <laughs> getting a reduction in your on your train fares yeah and uh, staying in a hotel which you'll have a coupon for oh definitely it, it all works out very well it's very clever <laughs> that. Very, very good. so the blog what, what's on the, what's on the blog I started the blog sort of last year really because a few companies came to me and said would you mind reviewing our products and I always give an honest review I never you know people say can you write this can you write this and I'll always always give an honest review because I think that's how people trust my you know yeah of course yeah trust me and my website really so it started with just a few like money saving website reviews and then it's turned into fashion beauty and I sort of cover everything really now now you call this what extreme couponing yeah why are we, I assume it's extreme because extreme there are so many. Yeah, it doesn't look extreme on the table right now. But, <laughs> and a few people do say it's not really extreme, but when you have a look at some of the shops I have done, I mean, I think my biggest one, I got £156 worth for, they paid me 6p out of the till because it was went under. And I think I used about 70 or 80 coupons. So really? I think that's pretty extreme. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. So when you go to a supermarket or you go into a store and you present them with all these coupons, they look at you in a strange sort of way. Yeah. <laughs> some cashiers cash? are, yeah. <laughs> some people are really, you know, they're really interested. They're really positive And, you know, they love doing it to see the money come off. Mm. And some people will just think, oh my God, I don't want to do it. So 
you've always just got to be polite and you know happy and keep them talking I think is a good thing as well so normally people are all right with it. Yeah. I know you've got a number of Tesco ones here and it's yeah. well, most of these are actually for club card aren't they as well? Yeah it's only, I only bought Tesco ones because I got my statement through the other day yes, but, <laughs> but these ones here are the Tesco Orchard ones so these are the ones I got specially to review mm -hmm. and a lot of them are Tesco and then these ones you can print offline and these ones I got sent through from a competition so there's definitely there's they all look very different. Uh huh. Yeah, because I think a lot of the butter companies and, and drink companies do these uh, sort of coupons to give you the money off, which, yeah. which is always very, very useful, of course. And I suppose for, for young, young families now who are struggling, uh, this, this is ideal. Definitely. I mean, I think it ranges from students all the way up into retirement, really. I think it's such a broad age range. Everybody wants to save money. If it's £5 a week or £500 a month, I think there's definitely a market for everybody to save. Uh -huh. And then how far do you go? Is it uh, just food and drink or do you go for... No, that? clothing, holidays, electronics, holidays, everything. Yeah, holidays is the important one. Mm -hmm. And what sort of holidays are you looking at? Um, we've done Disneyland already, which was, oh, really? we got that reduced, so I was really happy, but I'm hoping to go somewhere in Italy this year, so fingers crossed, I'm going to keep looking on Groupon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about travel? Are there sort of buses and, and trains? That they trains is a really easy one. There's so many um, train discount cards with, well, we've got Southwest Trains and they have national rail cards, so we always get a discount on that one. But it's always worth checking websites, just having a Google search on discounts, because you will find them. Mm -hmm. how, how would you recommend people to start this? Will they just go to your site basically and see what to do? Or? You can do, definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a lot of self-help on there. So for people who maybe don't always know where to look or you know want an easy way, then definitely just go on there. But just literally type it in on Google. <laughs> just you know, have a look around. Or coupons or yeah, whatever. And on Facebook as well, if you like brands, so if you like Hovis or whatever, like their Facebook page and it will notify you as soon as they have a promotion come up because mm -hmm. they normally have little Little games you can win things on or free coupons so it's worth setting yourself up and newsletters as well they normally send them out in newsletters how much of your time does this take up it used to take up quite a lot and it still does to be honest now I'm running everything but for a personal level it probably takes up 10 minutes of my day and I'll just print off any new coupons and when I go shopping I create a little plan and see how much I'm gonna save but I think it's more finding it for everyone else and posting on the website which takes up the most time I'm sure yeah so this is your full-time job then? yeah full-time job now yeah. which it's a dream come true really I mean I love saving money and I love helping people so it's brilliant for me what did you do before this I worked in next and I actually worked in a bank as well so, oh, so that's your financial <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah so I've been pushing loans on people and I'm pushing people to save money <laughs> and what sort of response are you getting from people you're getting sort of letters of thanks and yeah it's it's unbelievable really I mean I never did it to you know do all these amazing things or to have response from people but you know even a simple Facebook message from people just you know thanking me and telling me how much it's changed them or how much they've saved is you know it's heartwarming to me that's what makes it. Well what is nice about about coupons is it's almost a, a loyalty to your customers which a lot yeah. of big businesses don't do these days. Uh, I, I wrote an article recently for the newspapers where I saved over £800 by renewing my ins insurances yeah. by getting rid of all the companies <coughs> I've been with for years and being a first time customer for other companies they give you Discount. Yeah, definitely. First time customers is a big must. I can't tell you how much. I mean, I have about 20 email addresses, so mm -hmm. <laughs> you do have to prepare yourself a little bit. But, you know, I always sign up as a new customer because there's always discounts. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's disappointing because I've been with, with one of the motoring organisations, um, I hate to say this, but probably over 50 years, <laughs> and uh, and, uh, and I'm paying a fortune to be a member, so mm. I cancelled my membership after 50 years and joined as a new member, it was about a quarter of the price. You think it'd be the opposite way? Exactly, there's no loyalty. No, None exactly. at all. But the, the stores, as you say, Tesco, Sainsbury's and what have you, uh, they certainly do show uh, Definitely. customer loyalty, don't yeah, they? Yeah, Sainsbury's have now jumped on the bandwagon, they've got their own coupon system, Morrison's mm. have now got a loyalty card as well, so I think gradually... Well, doing, aren't they as well? Yeah, Waitrose has got a great card as well. So I think gradually they're all cottoning onto it and realising that it is the place to be. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Steve, for coming in today. That's right. Thank you I for having me. Good luck. What, what about your website? What's the, what's the Xcoopuk.com, but just search Extreme Couponing and Deals UK on Facebook, you'll find it. Or just do a Google. <laughs> yeah, or Google. Wonderful. Uh, our guest has been Emma Mumford. Uh, this is Latest TV and Mike Mendoza's Asia Worthing Show. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. I appreciate it. Came away from Dorset to come and see us. Now. That's fantastic. And uh, keep up the good work and the savings, I guess, as well. Uh, we'll be back after the break. Don't go away.